Richard Block, and I'm in New Orleans at the AHA annual meeting. Uh, with me is Jackie Bosch from Hamilton, Canada. Uh, Jackie has done the HOPE trial, HOPE Springs Eternal from the human breast. Jackie, tell me about the HOPE trial. What was it? Well, HOPE 3 was a trial of 12,705 participants at intermediate risk for cardiovascular disease. In those participants, we asked those 70 years and older to complete cognitive and functional questionnaires at the beginning and end of the study to see if the treatments, blood pressure lowering and resuvastatin compared to placebo, had an effect on preventing cognitive decline. Okay, so let me interrupt just for a second because we know that HOPE 1 and 2 did in fact show if you lower blood pressure and lower <coughs> cholesterol with resuvastatin, you do better. You do right? better. You do better. So we know that. Now, now the question is, do, does your brain do better? Exactly. We knew that the, um, the resuvastatin results were clear in everyone. The blood pressure results in HOPE 3 were only clear in those who had elevated systolic blood pressure at baseline. So now we take that a subgroup of those people measure their cognition at the beginning and end and see if we can make a difference. Okay, so I, I was going to ask you to measure my cognition, but I don't think I'm going to do that. <laughs> so the short version is what happened? Well, at the end of the study, we saw no difference between the BP lowering and placebo group in terms of the uh, cognitive decline, no difference between resuvastatin or placebo or the combination. So overall, there was no effect of these interventions on preventing cognitive decline. So let me ask a quick question because something just popped into my mind as I was standing here. Uh, some people have said that lowering cholesterol too much will actually decrease cognitive function. Did you see that? Well, actually, some people have also said that um, short-term resuvastatin or statin use causes episodic memory loss. We saw no adverse effects of statins on uh, cognition, which is an important finding. We don't see the uh, issues that people have described from observational data. Okay, so if I had to ask you to summarize the trial, what would you say? I'd say that overall for five and a half years we found that BP lowering and resuvastatin use did not prevent cognitive decline, but we did see some findings in those who have the highest systolic blood pressure at baseline, highest LDL at baseline, indicating they may actually have some uh, effect in that group, and also longer term treatment might be the solution. Okay, so there you, hope still springs eternal, I guess. Uh, we've learned a lot from hope, haven't we? This study has been an ongoing study with multiple studies for many years. A lot to be learned, and uh, maybe still uh, it's a good idea to take cholesterol-lowering and hypotensive drugs. Definitely the cholesterol-lowering if you're at an intermediate risk population. The blood pressure-lowering, that might only be for those who have elevated blood pressure. Thank you, Jackie. Thanks.